Okay, yeah, well, it's the Blazing Cannons. And it came about really with an idea that myself and Ben Shockley had. So Ben, um, a lot of people probably know this, is a huge fan of like 1970s films. And uh, I myself love a lot of, sort of like the old 70s programmes, particularly like the, the cop sort of TV shows that were very sort of prominent at the time. And we just, we just thought, you know, it'd be really fun to do a film like that with those sort of characters and how you can get away with being sort of like really over the top and very dramatic in the way you sort of like deliver it. But in a modern day, and it was just trying to think of how, how do we bring that to sort of like modern cinema and, and yeah, that, that was the blazing cans, that's where it came from. Well, I'm a big uh, 70s movie fan and TV show fan of, of that 70s genre, like we're talking Starsky and Hutch, we're talking, uh, some people don't know what it is, but Alias Smith and Jones, which was a series with uh, Pete Doole and Ben Murphy, a Western series from like 71, 72. It's that kind of buddy genre type thing that I was interested in and, and Mark said to me if you ever got to make a movie and directed it or co-directed whatever what would it be and I said well I'd like to do a cop movie you know uh, like a, a double act cop movie so that's how we kind of got to do this one yeah um, yeah he's odd as well Ben is um, we do have a similar sense of humour we do like a lot of the same things so a lot of sort of like the old sort of TV shows and the old films and we do have a real respect for sort of like British film heritage and I think that's where we can sort of hit it off. And talking about different directors and their styles, and we love film. We love to watch film. We love to make film, and I think that that's probably what it is. This is the first thing I've I've written with Mark, uh, and it's actually the first time I've written with someone else, which is really interesting. You know, coming up with those ideas, and I, I obviously I'm living I live in Kent, and he's in Peterborough, so we had to do those emails and phone calls and stuff, and talk discuss the the, the plot and that sort of stuff. Um, and we just thought, why right, one of the things in a police movie is, are we going to do like drug bust, stuff like that? Are we going to have serial killer, or whatever it's going to be? And then we decided, let's do the serial killer. Writing has always yep. been something I've really been really passionate about, and obviously I really enjoy acting as well. Um, what I found out, I did a film previously called On the Ropes, and for that we drafted in several different directors. And my idea was, I went to play this particular character and I wrote a film about something that I knew about, which was about a competition really between martial artists and boxers. And the idea was, you know, bring a director in, let them worry about it, let them do it all, and they can deliver what I've written to the screen. Unfortunately, it didn't really go as planned. So I was bringing in various different directors and it was never quite what I'd envisioned and then I'm having conversation and no fault of their own. It just wasn't what I had in my head. And then someone gave me a bit of advice and just said, look, if, if you're the only one you can really clearly see what you want to deliver, direct it and I was very sort of with that film I was very very confident that I knew what I wanted I couldn't be swayed in what I wanted so I thought okay I'll do it and yeah and I did and then for the blazing camera I think it's been a similar sort of approach really I it's a it's a very different kind of film it's cross genre so it's bringing in lots of different kind of genres so it's it's primarily comedy but it's kind of a dark comedy there's action in it it's a bit of a thriller there's horror scenes in it and again me and Ben were very specific about how we saw it very specific about how it wanted to be shot and we've got a very good DOP who we can speak to and say this is the kind of thing we want and he goes oh okay yeah I know what you want and he'll have experimentation with it but delivers what we want every time and so we went you know what? we'll direct so that's how it came about. Mark has a very clear idea of what he wants to go for um, with the main characters being set in they've got a fascination for the 70s we wanted to give it a really um, grainy sort of age look um, we wanted it really quite stylistic in the way that we do a lot of uh, shallow depth of field um, shots with um, focus pulling as well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very much, um, it's, it's quite difficult for us because w there are so many different sort of tones to the film if you like. We have some very sort of morbid, sinister, gruesome murder scenes but then we have quite a lot of comedy involved as well which you need to um, bring together. I'm just leaving a stain. <laughs> uh, well, my role in uh, <clears throat> in the film we're currently shooting, Blazing Cannons, 
is a, a dark comedy about a killer on the loose. And my, my, my character's name is Rubber John. And I'm sort of like this like double-sided character. But uh, basically the scene is I'm having a, a sort of fetish party uh, where the two main protagonists pitch up. And they're, you know, it's kind of like a bit of a fish out of water scene, but because they're cops, they have to kind of like try and blend in. Some of the film definitely gets made as as we go along when you're working with Mark, yeah, because he'll, he'll have like the basic idea of a scene, and then when all the actors get on set and you know other people, if, 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 sometimes when you're standing back from a scene, or you're just you know acting, you can kind of like take a slightly different view and say, well, you know, what if we did that? And you go, oh yeah, let's try that. It's a good idea. Um, so he's, you know, it's very easy, and and the, the film does it, it. It sort of grows organically as we start shooting it. Really, uh, we've got myself and Ben. Um, we've got DOP. We've got um, lighting. We've got sound, and we've got two runners, and that's our crew. And that has been pretty much the norm for the scenes, even the scenes where we've had like um, sort of like forty extras. That's 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 how we've done it. As far as, as far as filming is concerned, I think we're probably about 80%. Um, I'm saying that all the big scenes, that's, that's saying it on a number of scenes, but a lot of the big scenes, today is one of the last kind of big scenes. So a lot of the other bits are kind of the other scenes that involve just kind of the two central characters and possibly a couple of others, but the, the big scenes um, we've shot, so the final climax scene and all the big, bunch of lots of extras done.